Hi everyone, and welcome to our new studio vlog. My name is Karine. I'm one half of Peachy Apricot. The other half is Denitza. She's the one you see packing orders in all our videos, and she's also my wife. This is my first time doing voiceover. And you may have noticed from my accent that English is not my first language. Spoiler alert, I'm French. If I sound awkward or uncomfortable, that's because I am. I hope you can forgive me. Back in the beginning of August, I sketched a bunch of mushrooms. My goal was to create a happy companion for our little frog, Louise. Denitza wanted us to have mushroom earrings in our shop, so because our earrings are quite tiny, I made a simplified version of my favorite mushroom sketch. It has no legs, nor arms, but I think it's still cute. Here I'm using the studio pen brush for all the line art, as well as most of the coloring. The earrings are quite small at half an inch or 12 millimeters. Details are typically lost once the design is shrunk to that size, so when drawing for earrings, I make it a point to keep it simple, and to make sure my lines pop, I draw them a bit thicker than I usually like. I normally love using the dry ink brush for most of my line art. I love the texture of it and its organic look. However, I noticed that textured ink brushes don't really do well at a very small size, so for our earring designs, I switched over to smoother brushes. At the end of this little drawing session, you'll get a sneak peek at the final product.
Hey there, I'm back. And this time, I get to use my favorite brush, the dry ink. Along with the mushrooms, I also did a series of spooky but cute Halloween illustrations. However, this video will only show the inking and coloring of this very happy bat. Since we will turn this adorable bat into a keychain or larger dangle earrings, I allowed myself to use a textured brush for the line art. The small drawings you saw at the bottom right of the screen at the beginning of the video are the result of me getting too involved when sketching. I tend to be very insecure about my color choices, so I often start the coloring process just to see and always end up with sketches that take way too long and just can't be used for any product as is. I also tend to draw very small, too small, every single time. It's like I can never learn. The whole series of Halloween inspired illustrations will be featured on handmade notepads, mugs, mouse pads, as well as drink and car coasters. We also wanted to try our hands at washi tape, but we're way too late for that this year. While editing this video, we received our wooden charms and were just too excited not to show them to you. We'll get deeper into those in our next vlog, but for now, here's a sneak peek. 